We're in a heat wave, but we will eventually cool down. But some experts say the transition to warmer weather can have a big impact on our body and our sleep. Dr. John White is the chief medical officer of WebMD. He joins us to talk about how to balance things when it's t-shirt weather outside, but there's freezing air conditioning indoors. This is a very big question on oh, yes. so many of our minds. So, Dr. White, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. It's great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you too. All right, first, talk about how uh, the negative impact of fluctuating temperatures, what kind of negative impact can that have on our bodies? Yeah, you know, temperature really does have a big impact on our body in terms of how we regulate blood sugar, in terms of how well our heart beats. And, you know, with these varying temperatures, as you pointed out, it's hot outside and you come inside and it's freezing cold especially as we get older, it can take, you know, quite some time for your body to regulate and you can start to have some problems. You might see it with headaches, stress, palpitation. So there's a few things that you can do to, to help, you know, make that transition a little easier. Yeah, talking, uh, focusing on the word sleep and how weather changes can impact your sleep. What is the best temperature to sleep in? Yeah, I know there is a lot of debate out there. So here's the answer. Cooler is better. Ooh. And typically data shows 65, 67 what? degrees is the ideal sleep temperature. It is. I mean, the data has been pretty consistent. Cooler is better. Don't tell my husband that because <laughs> I like to keep the thermostat at like 75. Oh, that's <laughs> that, that too is, hot. You know what? 75 is good if you're working in the office. But for sleep, you want to cool your body down. You want to get in that deep REM sleep. We all got these sleep trackers on. I would tell you, lower the thermostat tonight, next couple of days, see how your sleep is. I bet it'll be better. That is very interesting. I may give that a try. I may. <laughs> Extra covers. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what's the best temperature for your home then as things heat up yeah. this summer? So during the day when you're awake, what temperature should yeah. we have the thermostat set at? And you want to avoid these big extremes during the day. One moment, you know, it's 70 degrees. The next moment, it's 77. We're starting to think warmer is a little better, maybe 75, 76 degrees inside the office. Let's be honest, when it gets cool, you start to slow down, you might get a little sleepy. So really having that temperature around 75 degrees, you know, in the office or in the home. Now, one tip I want to give people when we're having a lot of air conditioning, you never want to be right below a vent. Um, I've seen a lot of people that start to come in with respiratory problems, cough, some upper airway issues because they have the vent blowing on their face either at night or in the office. So you want to be aware of that because that often causes some problems. Yeah, for sure. So we're saying 75 in the office, roughly 65 at, at nighttime to sleep. So some great advice. And then what was it one more time for the daytime? What should our homes or apartments be? It's really about 75 degrees as well okay. in the daytime. In the daytime at nighttime, you got to lower that thermostat for better sleep. All right, good to know. Yeah, this is really helpful information, even if I do kind of want to, to fight those lower <laughs> temperatures. Well, I'm also always cold. I have a blanket on right yeah, now. You, so You and Amber both, and I'm over here case. like it's kind of warm, but yeah. I'm also wearing a full suit. So Yeah, yeah. all right. Well, Dr. White, thank you so much uh, for being with us. Your information, your insight is always just so helpful, so appreciated. Have a great day. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right.